Hey, what's going on? Andrew Johnston from amwakeupcall.com and today I'm showing you how to set up a free domain in ClickFunnels, also how to set up a custom domain and a subdomain. So custom domain or subdomain is going to be if you've already purchased a domain from another hosting provider such as Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, and one of, you know, one of those. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump right in and I'm going to tell you why this is important as well. Okay, So let's go ahead and go over to Funnels and I'm just going to click on a funnel and show you exactly you know what I'm talking about here. So there's a URL, right, that comes that ClickFunnels automatically gives you. And we've gone over that in the account details. You can set up a subdomain for ClickFunnels. So if you're running a Facebook ad to this, or if you're putting this on, you know, your Instagram, or you're telling someone, hey, go check out, you know, this, and they're leading to the funnel, it's going to look a lot better if it has your own domain here, right? Instead of, you know, for instance, amwakeupcall.clickfunnels.com, which this is a subdomain. Okay. So we always want to brand it to ourselves. That's important. And then also, if you're going to do paid advertising with whether it's with Google and AdWords or doing Facebook advertising, you, you know that might not even be in your mind right now. You're like, whoa, that's whoa, that's way down the road. But you know, you want to start kind of thinking ahead, right? And again, start start at least branding it to yourself. So I'm going to head over here and show you exactly how to set up the domain. So top right, hover over your avatar, go down here to domains, and it's going to first come up and say add new domain. Of course, click on it, and it's going to give you two choices. ClickFunnels actually has, it's actually going to show you now, they have some, some tutorials which is pretty cool. So they have two choices, choose a domain or add your own domain. Now your first domain with ClickFunnels is free, okay? So it's really cool. Now if you're going to start a blog or if you're going to, or you already have a blog, then you know, don't worry about it. But you know, if you're just like, hey, I'm just going to have one funnel, right? It's going to be called FunnelBuilders.com, okay? And you're like, hey, I'm not really, I'm not going to have a blog to it, I'm not going to have a website on connected to it, then yeah, definitely go in there, use the free domain because it's a free ClickFunnels domain, okay? Why not? You know, it's like, again, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, no matter what package you have. So you can click there and set up the free domain, okay? It'll walk you directly through the steps, you just choose your domain, and boom, you're ready to go. And if you're choosing a domain, if this is like your first domain, don't take days and hours trying to think of it, just kind of think of like, okay, what am I talking about? I'm talking about funnels. Okay, what domains are available for funnels? And it lets you type in the domains, and if it's not available, then it will tell you, okay? Uh, if you're going into coaching, you know, and you're like, okay, I want to do andrewcoaching.com or andrewscoaching.com, type it in there, and then just boom, go with it. You can always rebrand, always buy a different domain. You know, don't spend a lot of time with that. Okay, so today, here we're going to go into use an existing domain, because again, I'm actually going to show you how to use Bluehost. Uh, there's a link that's going to be below this video or to the side of this video because Bluehost is where I've set up my websites. It's where I've set up my emails, like my business emails, and it also gives you a free domain through the hosting. And I know you're like, whoa, this is a funnel course. Why are you talking about websites and things? Because a website's kind of like a business card, and it's always good to, you know, especially because I also have a blog. So if you're going to have a blog, it's definitely good to have a website as well. So, of course, where you can have your blog all laid out there for people to find. And SEO is really good for blogs and for WordPress and with Bluehost uh, over ClickFunnels. So let's go ahead. We're going to type in. So it says add your domain. Now, my domain that I'm going to use is locationindependenttraining.com. So I'm going to click on add domain. And it's going to bring up a question, how to connect your domain to ClickFunnels. Okay. So again, it's going to pull up a video as well. So let's go ahead and jump over into Bluehost. All right, so when you get signed into Bluehost, this is exactly what it looks like here. And you want to locate domains, which on this page, it's at the top. So we're going to click on domains. And it's going to bring up a list of domains. Now, if you've purchased a domain here already, then awesome. You can use that domain. Or again, you can use a subdomain. I'm going to show you how to do both and connect it in ClickFunnels. If you've never set up a subdomain or a domain at all, and you just purchased your first one, then you want to, it's either, it's going to be set up as like a primary or an add-on. So I'm going to say it's like, I'm going to use some tech babble. That's what I call like different tech words that might not make sense. Or, uh, you know, it's like some of them like go over my head even. So don't really pay attention to like the tech babble words, like CNAME and add-ons and things. Just focus on like actually what I'm doing <laughs> and clicking and just follow that step-by-step -step and you'll be in the clear. All right. So we have a domain that's purchased. And so you want to come down and find that. Now, again, it'll either say primary or add-on. If it says unassigned, you need to set it up as a primary or as an add-on, okay? So we'll look at location independent. You see that it's unassigned. So we're going to click on that. Come over here. 
and then we want to assign it. So we're going to click on assign. And I'm going to go through these steps really quickly and just get it assigned. Again, it just you just follow the steps one by one. So you use a domain, yep, add on domain. So that's perfect. And then you scroll down here and choose the create a new directory and then just assign this domain, okay? And once that goes through, it brings you right back to this page. Now, now that we're at this page and you verify that it does say add on or primary next to the domain that you purchased, you wanna come up here and click on zone editor. So very important before we I click on domain, if you already have your domain pointing to a website, so you already have a website, like one of our websites is amwakeupcall.com, you cannot point it, I repeat, you cannot point it also at the same time towards a funnel, okay? So you cannot, do not add that into ClickFunnels. Do not add your domain into ClickFunnels if you already have like a blog or a website connected to it, okay? That's why we use subdomains. And again, I'm gonna show you right after this how to set up a subdomain in the same video. So we're gonna come down here, I'm gonna choose a domain, and I just set up locationindependent.com. And we're gonna come down here to host record, put www, choose type, CNAME, points to target.clickfunnels.com. Okay, make sure this is spelled correctly. I see a lot of people misspell this, and obviously that's gonna cause an issue. So www, no period or anything, no dot after it. That TTL, don't touch that points to target.clickfunnels.com, add record. Okay, so it says could not add zone record. So we wanna come down here and see why isn't it letting me do that? And that's because there's already a host record pointing somewhere, okay? So that's www.locationindependenttraining.com. So it's already pointing somewhere. So I actually did that on purpose because I wanted to show you, if you do that and you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't it work? So you can't have www pointing to two different places. So if it, this already exists, which it does. We want to click on edit, and then that's where you're, this is where you're going to do target.clickfunnels.com. And again, this is for any hosting provider, okay? Again, this is for GoDaddy, for Namecheap, for SiteGround, for anybody that you've used, okay? So go ahead, click save. All right, and so you can see it's saved. So we want to scroll through, and you see, okay, there's no other www records. All right, they're not pointing anywhere else. So we have that, all right, perfect. So now we're gonna jump back in to ClickFunnels, come back to this step, say I've done this step, close. All right, we'll check now. All right, so it does take some time to verify, so we're just gonna give it a few minutes, uh, since, especially since I just assigned this, and we'll check again here in a few minutes. All right, so that took actually about 20 minutes, <laughs> so a little bit longer than I was expecting, but if you go in to Bluehost, I'll show you here. It actually says that you can take it, that it'll take up to four hours. <laughs> so I'm glad it didn't take four hours, but all right, we got it. So good job, you did it. Now it says select a funnel. Okay, so you're going to skip this. Don't go ahead and select a funnel yet. So do not select a funnel. Uh, if you don't have one, perfect. <laughs> if you do have one, don't select anything. And then just click on just show me my domains. All right, as you can see, now it's verified. But if we take a look over here, you have a little lock sign that says domain has not been secured. So next we wanna come over here, hit the three dots, click edit, come down here to the SSL. SSL, click expand, and then add the SSL. All right, so we've initiated the SSL setup process. Again, you can see it says take 10, it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. It really will take about 10 minutes, so that's, that's pretty accurate. So again, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and we'll come back here in 10 minutes, all right? All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, and you just come back to your domains, SSL, click expand, and then check now. Okay, success, congratulations, your domain is now ready. Okay, so what we can do now is if you already have a funnel built, in your in your in click funnels and you can click expand click here and then choose you know that's which you know funnel you actually want to bring it to so you can do okay i want www.locationindependenttraining.com to go straight to this awesome sales funnel squeeze page okay so i'm going to go ahead and select it the 404 error page that's if someone accidentally types in you know something wrong or different did i hit save on that just want to make sure i hit save and then come down here and do the same thing. Squeeze page, save. Okay, perfect. 
And so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what it looks like here. All right, so if you remember on one of the previous videos, I just went ahead and made just a quick funnel from some of the templates, and that's what I just attached it to. So boom, you know, you have the template that I selected, and it comes right to that funnel. Okay, and it shows instead of showing amwakeupcall.com dot or sorry amwakeupcall.clickfunnels.com, it actually has my domain here. Okay, so it looks a lot cleaner, and again, it's branded to you. So that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now we've achieved that, and it's set up perfectly. So if we go in here to domains, you can see the little green lock here, domain is secured with SSL. You see the status is secured. So everything is set perfectly. Okay, so now what happens if you already have a domain? Okay, so you already have a website, you already have a domain purchase, and it's leading to a website or to a blog. And that's when you wanna set up a subdomain, okay? So again, I said, if you remember, not to set up a domain and point it towards a funnel and also a website. So where I set up this domain, it did not point towards the website. So now I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, I already have a domain pointing to a website. I'm going to use a subdomain now. So we come up here to add a new domain, add your own domain. Instead of having the www here, we're going to have the subdomain that we added. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to jump back into Bluehost and show you what I mean by that. Okay, so we're back in Bluehost and setting up a subdomain. So click, we click on Domains and go over here to Zone Editor. So you can see subdomains right there is where you can create them, but we're going to go straight to the Zone Editor, okay? And then we're going to select the domain. So just click on the drop down and choose what domain you're going to want to set up a subdomain with. So you can see I chose amwakeupcall.com. And then for the host record, that, this is where you can put anything. So this is your subdomain. So you could put go, you could put you know, group, literally you could put any kind of, any word here that you want. And it's going to be visible, okay? So if you have, a, again, if you're running a Facebook ad, if you are putting this on Instagram, this subdomain is going to be visible. It's going to say the subdomain amwakeupcall.com. So I'm just going to choose go. It's going to say go.amwakeupcall.com. Choose the C name, points to target.clickfunnels.com. Okay, again, make sure that you're spelling everything correctly. And we have target.clickfunnels.com. I'm going to choose add record. Okay, so that happened just because I double clicked it. Got a little impatient there. Uh, but next, you just want to come down here, and now you can see, okay, host record under C name, go.target.clickfunnels.com. Now, if you've already set up a subdomain before, on that where I showed you, let's take a step back here. If you already set up a subdomain right here and you're wanting to use the subdomain again in this one, what you need to do is actually delete it. It's going to be in your A, uh, a record and so you'd want to come over and delete it. If it said go and then points to you know the IP address or anything, you want to delete it. All right. So again, if you've already set up a subdomain before and you want to use that subdomain, you can go directly through these steps, but it's going to tell you that it cannot do that, just like we got on the last message. And we want to come down and then choose delete, okay? But this, for instance, I never created that subdomain before. I just had, so I was like, okay, let's go ahead and create it now. And then you can see, went under a C name, go target.clickfunnels.com. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back into our ClickFunnels account. We're almost finished. All right, so here we have go.amwakeupcall.com, add domain. We've done this step and check now. So again, it can take up to four hours, like Bluehost says. We'll go ahead and check it. And yep, it's gonna be a little bit, so we'll go ahead, we'll give it about a half an hour again and then come back and check it. We'll pause the video. All right, so just like last time, we're gonna come back in here and check again. Okay, and congrats, you did it. So again, just repeat, we don't actually connect it to a funnel yet. Go ahead and just show me my domains. And then you can see it's unlocked, so it needs to be locked, that SSL. So we're gonna click on those three dots, click on edit. Come over here to the SSL and add the SSL. Okay, so again, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes for this, so yep. You guessed it, we're gonna pause the video and come back here in 10, 15 minutes. 
All right, so it's been 10 to 15 minutes, so we'll come back to the SSL, click expand, and check now. Okay, congratulations. Your domain, go.amwakeupcall.com, is now ready. So just like before, you can go in and hit expand and choose if you have some funnels set up. So here we can go ahead and just choose this one. Of course, it's going to be different from the last domain that we added. And we'll choose this again and click save. And of course, you always want to test it out. So we'll open it up in a new window. All right, perfect. So it's brought up the funnel that I attach, and you can see here that it says go.amwakeupcall.com and that there's no ClickFunnels subdomain in it, okay? And then also, you can make sure when you go into domains, you see the green domain is secured with the SSL, domain is secured, and it says secured and secured here. All right, so we've tested our domain, we've tested our subdomain, everything is secured, so there's one last step. Okay, so we have our funnel ready, and we wanna go into the funnels, and we actually wanna connect that funnel, okay? So let's go ahead and go into the JSON sales video. So we want to connect that funnel with the domain. And we come over here and go into settings on the top right. And if you recall, I set up this one with our go.amwakeupcall.com. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Come down to the very bottom down here. All right, move my head over. Choose save and update settings. You can see it says funnel was successfully updated. And then we want to bring this down. So let me move my screen down here so I can show you. We want to do a few things. We want to refresh because we want the domain to update right there, okay? All right, so as you can see here, refreshing has updated the go.amwakeupcall.com. Okay, so it's nice and short. And if we go here and we'll open it up in a new tab, click on it. You can see it says go.amwakeupcall.com. All right, so that's exactly how you can set up a custom domain, a free domain inside of ClickFunnels, and also a subdomain inside of ClickFunnels. But let me know if you have any questions, and can't wait to see you on the next video.